everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Pardon the hair. I didn't straighten it today. It's a bit of a hot mess. I was out in the wind, but it is what it is because that's, that's what we're getting today. This is it. This is as good as it's going to get. So it was an exciting day because I finally got to go into Zeller's. So if you don't know what Zeller's is, Zeller's was like a discount department store. I, I would say kind of Canada's Target many years ago, and it shut down. I think it just couldn't keep up price-wise with Walmart. It couldn't compete, and it ended up closing down. So what the Hudson's Bay has decided to do, and if you don't know what the Hudson's Bay is, it's a department store in Canada. They own Zeller's. So what they've decided to do is open up a section within Hudson's Bay that will be Zeller's. Okay, so it's kind of like a pop-up, but I think it's here to stay if, if it does well. So it's not really a pop-up, but it kind of looks like a pop-up inside of the Hudson's Bay store. It opened, I would say, maybe a couple of weeks ago, and I really wanted to come out when it opened, but it was so crazy busy. I think people were feeling a lot of nostalgia for Zellers, a lot of excitement. It was lined up outside the door. It was freezing cold that weekend, windy snowy it was a storm so there was no way I was going to be lining up outside for an hour to get in, into Zeller's so I decided to wait and I'm glad I did because I went in today it was really pleasant it wasn't overly busy and I enjoyed myself overall I liked it I will say it was it was a, it was a neat experience I liked it I think it will last I do have some issues with it but I'll talk a little bit more about that after we get into the store so I'm going to take you in. I'm going to show you all of the kind of housewares. I'm going to show you the kids' toys. Actually, really cool kids' toys. Um, the clothing, kitchen stuff, bathroom stuff, you name it. I'm going to show it to you. Just kind of a little bit of a look at everything. And then we'll come back and I'll tell you what I thought about it. Okay, so Zeller's is a part of the bay. So as I was walking through the bay, I already spotted these as I was getting close to the Zeller's. These were some really cute dresses for girls. Some of the cotton ones were only $10 and they came in all of those different colors. The wool sweaters were 25. They also had these for toddlers and babies. Those were so cute. It was $19 for that. And then they had the leggings. So these were a three pack of leggings. And this was only $15 and you can see all the different colors and patterns that they have. And then they had something similar to that for boys as well. The three pack of the pants and also the shirts. And here I am heading back towards the Zellers area. So you'll see it goes all the way down to that side of the bay, all the way down to the other. So it's the entire back area of the bay. And this is some of the signage that you see kind of throughout the Zeller section. And I started in the kids section. They had these really great licensed tees for both boys and girls, any different characters they had like anime ones and Barbie ones and Care Bear ones. These were only 10 bucks. Now this was the Anko brand, which is the new brand for Zellers. You can see they had the sweatshirts, the skirts, the matching pants. The sweatshirts were only $12, which is a great price. And they also had a lot of swimwear for kids. So these rash guards were $15. I really liked this little dinosaur one. This was super cute. So you could buy them as separates. So those were $15. But if you bought the set with the rash guard and the swim pants together, that was only $25. So it was actually cheaper to do it that way. You could get the separate shorts as well. You can see there's lots of different patterns, designs. These were also $15. So if you buy them as separates, it's gonna cost you 30 bucks. If you buy them together, like that shark one I showed you, then that's only gonna be $25. And this was just a couple of different rash guards as well. And then they had the matching shorts. These were the girls swimsuits. So these were $19 for the swimsuits. I love how the girls swimwear has all of the rash guards now. I think, you know, you wanna protect your girl's skin too. That's also important. And they also had these PJ sets for kids. These were $15. I loved the ballerina one. They also had one with a bunny on it, which would be great for Easter. They had a dinosaur one and a car and a teddy bear. And those were $15. They had these great sets of onesies. So there were seven onesies in the set. It was $35 
for the entire set, but I think that's a fairly good price considering that you're getting seven onesies in it. So that's not bad. That'd be great to give as like a baby shower gift. And they also had all of these little sweaters and the matching pants for toddlers. A lot of these ran between like $12 up to $19, depending on the material. So the cotton things were 12. Some of the sweatshirt material were more like 19. They had these basic tees. They were only seven bucks, which I thought was a great price. That's all you want to spend on a basic tee for your kid. And they also had some long sleeve basic tees as well. They had them for both boys and girls. And again, those were $7. They also had these really cute jeans for boys. These were $22. So they came in the black and the blue as well as the khaki. Now these were for women. These were $19. I liked the shape of them. Like I liked the fit of them, but I did think they were a little bit pricey. I would like to see those at maybe like 10 to $15, but they were nice. And they also had a lot of these different leggings. So they had them in several different colors. Those were $15 and they also had the sports bras, matching sports bras, and those were $15 as well. So not a bad price for sports bra and they had some shorts as well for $19. I liked these, these were part of a set. So this was $25 for the sweatshirt and then they had the matching shorts below. And uh, I think that would make a great set. And the shorts were the same, 25, so that's $50 for an outfit, which isn't too bad. And then they also had the hoodies. These were a great deal. I almost got one of these for myself. These were just some basic cotton tees, but I liked the cuff at the sleeve and they were only $8. They came in several different colors. I thought they were a good deal. These were some of the Anko brand basic sweaters. So they had the crop style, as well as the long one with the sideways stripes. Both of these were $32, which I thought wasn't a bad price. I actually really liked the cropped sweaters. And they had all of these tees. So again, they're kind of basic tees, but with a little more detail, like the buttons in the front. They also had kind of the long cardigans that were in a light sort of material. And all of the things on this wall were $22. They also had these t-shirt dresses. I was tempted to get one of these. They had it in the black and also the blue and white stripes. And these were only $19 for those t-shirt dresses. They had some golf shirts for men. These were $15 and the shorts were also $15. So that's a $30 outfit, which is really not bad for the summer. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And they also had your basic hoodies for men as well. These were $22. They had some more golf shirts that were $15. And then again, some more that I believe were $19. The ones that have the stripes on the side and kind of that little polo symbol uh, were $19 for those ones. They also had some casual shorts. They were $19. These were only $10, they came in navy, black, and white. And then they also had some swim shorts. And these swim shorts were only $15. So that's a really good price for swimwear. They also had licensed tees for adults. They didn't have a lot of the men's one left. Uh, they seem to be all sold out, but they did have some of the women's ones left. So you can see Care Bears, different music ones, Rolling Stones, Kiss, Harvard. They're only $15 for those. They also had a lot of stuff for babies. So a lot of different Anko brand toys, like some of these rattles and the chew toys um, and the rubber duckies. A lot of them went from like $4 up to $7. They also had some bath toys that you can see there, some teething rings, all of these kind of things. They ranged anywhere from, like I said, $4 to $7. They had some bib sets. So this came with like a pack of two bibs. That was $9. There were some packs of the three of the kind of like handkerchief ones. They were $9. They had some receiving blankets as well. They also had some sheets for your crib and some washcloths. They were only $10. And they also had this, the wooden activity gym set. I thought this was super cute. And that was $65 for that. And they also had this activity play mat. Uh, it didn't have the, anything that went on the top of it. It was just the play mat itself, but that was $35. I really loved the Anko toys. 
So they had this. This was like a little cart that your kids could pull along that came with all of the food in it. And they also had this 90 piece play food set. And the prices for these kids toys were excellent. And I loved that a lot of them were wood. So they were really good quality. A lot of the toys that I saw in the Anko brand were kind of reminding me of the Melissa and Doug stuff, which is great stuff. Like I know my, my nephew Lucas would have loved that with all of the letters. They have this shape sorting one. I ended up picking up that little uh, train track. That was only $12 and I picked that up for one of my nephews. You can see they have tons of different blocks, sensory toys. Some things were only five bucks. Most of the sets went from $12 anywhere up to $35. So if it was a larger set, you could count on it being $35. They had some really simple stuff like the stacking rings, they were only five bucks, which is a great price. I picked up some of these wooden animals for my nephew as well. They were $5 a piece. I know he's going to love those. They had this little wooden music table as well. And I loved these doll houses. So this was the smaller doll house. This was $50 for this set. And then as you got up into the bigger sets, they were 75. So Oh, this was the wooden kitchen accessory set. That was cute as well. This is the one that was $75. This was the big, huge wooden cottage set, uh, but they looked like they were really great quality. I know as a little girl, I definitely would have loved those. And they'll last because they're wood. I loved this wooden kitchen set. This was super cute. Came with some different accessories. Really, really adorable. I thought it was a decent price too at $75. And they also had this treehouse set. So this was kind of like the dollhouse, but it was a treehouse instead. It came with the little furniture. Really, really cute. I believe that was also $75. They had this little wooden tabletop easel that I thought was super cute. Um, if you have a little artist in your family, this I loved. I wanted to get this for my nephew as well. This was the wooden ice cream shop. It came with 18 pieces. It was only $45, which I thought was great for a wooden set. This was a wooden tea set. This was super cute as well. This was $45 for that. They had the wooden toaster. That was only $12. You could get this smaller wooden ice cream set for $12, a little candy shop set for $12. I got my nephew this one, the little birthday cake, and they also had this one with the wooden vegetables and they kind of Velcro together like the Melissa and Doug toys, only you're getting them from anywhere from $12 to $25. So that's a big difference. They had all of these different kits, the police kit, the doctor's kit for $25. So cute. They had this doll furniture set. These were such great quality items and I thought they were really, really reasonably Price, and I know myself, I would have loved these as a kid. This is just some more of those sets. So you can see a lot of them are 25. Look at the sushi set for 25. That's so cute. And then a lot of them are $12. They also had this working farm, which I thought was really cute. This was $45 for this farm. It was plastic, so it wasn't wooden, uh, but it was also really cute. They had this basketball game set. I thought this was fantastic to throw into your basement. Uh, it was only $39. They had this balance cushion as well, which looked like a lot of fun for kids. And they had the little skip it. That was only $10. And they also had the badminton set. I want to say that was $30 or $32. And they also had some scooters. So these were really cute as well. They were only $29. And also they had this dinosaur scooter and that one was only $29.99 as well. So some really great outdoor stuff for kids as well. This would be great to give your kids for Easter. It has a whole bunch of different outdoor toys, skipping ropes, bowling pins. I thought that was a great little kit for kids. And then they also had the kind of little kids scooter in a unicorn one as well as the dinosaur one. They also had a lot of stuff for arts and crafts and it was really reasonably priced. Kind of reminded me of Five Below. Also that summer stuff kind of re reminded me of Five Below. So I felt like the whole Zeller's area was like a mix between Ikea and Five Below in a weird way. But look at all of this craft stuff. A lot of this stuff was only $7 and then a lot of these little craft sets like the unicorn one, the butterfly one, these were only $5 and they were little paint sets. So again, those would be great to give for Easter. 
So if you're looking for things to just throw into your Easter basket, these would be some great things. They also have these art packs. These were only $5 as well. Uh, the Build Your Own Mask, such great stuff. They had some really great home decor stuff, which again was reminding me of Five Below and Ikea, like a mishmash of the two. So these trays were really nice. Uh, they were only $20 for those. The hanging shelf was $10. This one here, the little floating shelf, shelf I'm sorry, was $12. This tray, I really liked this tray. This was $16 for that. I was very tempted to pick that up, but I fought the urge. This one was a bamboo one. It was a little bit more, it was $29, uh, but it was a little bit more like significance to the design to it. So I could see why it was more. And I loved this one as well. I was tempted to get it. And this one was $20. They also had a lot of different vases as well as different like little floral sets. A lot of the vases were $15, so the larger ones were $15, and then kind of the smaller ones were around $10. So that was kind of the price range you were looking at. If it was super big, like those ones were 20, um, but most of them went from $10 to $15 for any of these little floral arrangements. They also had these throw pillows that I really liked. I loved these ones with like the little diamond print. Those would look great in my living room. And they had these, they had a navy blue one. They only had one of those left though, and the black. These were only $25, which is pretty good for a throw pillow. This is just like one of the displays where they kind of show you those trays and some more of those planters on some of the furniture that they have. They have a lot of this Anko brand furniture. So a lot of like little tables, side tables, shelves, that kind of stuff. This is where I found that the prices were hard to find. So you kind of had to search around to find the prices. I kept looking for a tag on it and I couldn't find it. But I loved a lot of these shelving units. They were really, really nice. Um, and again, the vases, they were about $15. If they were larger, they were 20 but most of them were $15. I did end up picking this one up in the clear uh, vase with the little flower in it, the little pick in it. That was $15. They had these little side tables as well. None of the furniture was super pricey, so it was all really reasonably priced, but you can see here why it's giving me Ikea vibes. This ankle stuff is definitely giving me Ikea vibes. This bench was $120. I'm not sure if that drawer pulled out. I don't, I don't really think it did. Then they had this little cabinet would be great for putting a TV or something on it. And that was only $100 for that, which I thought was actually a really good price. This is just an example of some of the tiered shelves. Uh, so and, as you can see there, everything is really reasonably priced. Again, giving me Ikea vibes. I loved this shelf. I was like, where can I put this in my house? And then I said, no, I don't need it. And I fought off the urge to buy it. But again, pretty good price for that. They also had this, this three set of drawers. So this would be great for a bedroom. Like if you're really into kind of this minimalist look, then definitely go to Zellers and pick up some of this. All of it is like that really neutral wood, like kind of light wood material. And um, yeah, it's just very, very neutral, very minimalistic stuff. So they had these side tables as well with the iron legs, which I thought were cute. Here were some more of those side tables. Those would even look good like on a patio, I think, to put them in between like your patio chairs. They had this chair, which looked neat to me. This was $175 for that. They also had these really large mirrors. So these mirrors were only $65, but they were actually quite, quite large. So you can see that they had this big round one here. Um, and they also had, I think it was, yeah, they had this one as well. So this shape, and again, I, they were all $65 pretty much for the larger mirrors. They had this clock for 22. They also had the stacking shelves. So you can see it all has that same wood tone. It's really, really basic stuff, really sending off the Ikea vibes. But if you're into that, I actually think it's, it's really trendy and really nice stuff for, really good prices. They had this table as well, a kind of a small coffee table. This is kind of a little setup where they show you that chair along with one of the little side tables. They had that coat rack as well. They had this, which looked like you could use it really anywhere just for storage, $150. Uh, they had this one as well. That might even go in a dining room, like as a little hutch. 
I thought that was really, really nice. You can see again, prices are pretty decent on these. I, it was nice to see that they did have prices on some of these because I, like I said, I found them hard to find. So that was $60 for that little side table. Might be good for a bedroom. I like that it has the storage in it. Same with this one. This would be good for a side table if you're not looking for a great big side table. That was $79. They also had a lot for storage. So they had this two section storage drawer. These were 18. These were also 18. Uh, I actually thought these were really neat. I again was tempted to pick those up and then I thought I don't need them. They also had these totes. So these were only $15 and I thought they would be great for kids toys, like maybe Lego. I could picture me putting my son's Lego in there when he was younger. They also had this as well. I believe these were also $15 for those and they also came with the lid. So again, great for storage for kids toys. This one was 12 and you could stack them one on top of the other as well because they had the lid. If you're looking for, you know, something that looks a little nicer or something you could have out in your living room, they do have a lot of these baskets as well. These ranged anywhere from like $35, uh, some were 20, some were 25, and they even had some that were only $15. So you could get them in a variety of, of ranges. And I thought they were actually really nice looking baskets. They also had this four storage box with the lids. That was a great price as well. Those come in handy, again, for like craft stuff for your kids. They had those ones that were $12 and they also had these little like crates. I think kids like those for their room. They had these baskets. I like the detailing on them and they were only $5 for those. So those would look nice on a shelf because they kind of have a nice design to them, maybe even in a pantry. They also had a lot of different things for the bathroom. So I started here and they had like this little travel cleansing brush. They had different sort of cosmetic bags, things that you could bring for traveling, like these little travel cases here where you could put your toiletries into it. And they also had these bath bombs, which were actually a really great price. Uh, so those were only $9 for those sets. And then a lot of these things like the loofahs and all that kind of stuff, that, they were only $4, so $4 or $5 around there for that kind of stuff, which I thought was a good price. They had these that I loved, this ladder for towels. I've never thought of something like that. It's like a, a blanket ladder, but it's for towels, and that was $65. They also had this, so if you are in maybe a smaller bathroom and you just want some more storage, they did have that floor caddy, which I thought was nice. This was so nice, this laundry basket. Again, something else I wanted to get. It was a bamboo laundry basket. It came with two sections. So one for light, one for dark, and it was $75. And I also liked these little corner shelves. I thought these were really cute. This again is something you could hang in your bathroom and, and put little things on it if you were just looking for a little bit more storage or just to put decorative stuff on it as well. All of the bathroom accessories, like the little soap dishes and the soap dispensers were really, really reasonably priced. So you can see they have all the different bathroom accessories, like the toilet brushes, most of them were $15. They had a lot of like the LED mirrors that were $15 to $20. Some of these were great prices. So, you know, some of them were only $3.50 for those bathroom things. Some of them were $8 depending on the material. But you can see just tons of great, great stuff and really reasonable, reasonable prices. This again gave me an Ikea slash five below vibe. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong, but that's what I'm getting. They also had over the door towel racks, which I thought was were really neat. And then they had these shower caddies as well that you could hang in your shower to put all your toiletries on it. They had these little bamboo pieces for the bathroom. They were only $6. Also some storage drawers and some baskets. Again, we're seeing all of that kind of minimalist look, that same color palette, but I'm kind of digging it. I kind of like it. They have more of these mirrors, a travel LED mirror. A lot of these things went from $10 to $12. If you're looking for storage for your makeup, a lot of those were $12 that held your brushes or different makeup sets. They had the jewelry box as well for $12, which was neat. And they had a ton of cookware. And I thought this cookware looked like it was pretty good quality and very good prices. So again, this is that Anko brand. So these are the Zeller brand, Zeller's, sorry, branded 
pots and pans. So it was only $100 for a set of pans, which was great. They had a lot of different skillets, the non-stick skillets. Uh, they varied in price. So some of them were only $10. Some of them went to $15. And then some, depending on whether they were non-stick or not, were $25 to $30. So depending on the type of pan it was, went anywhere from $10 up to you know $30 for the pans. But a large variety of pans and different materials and different colors and sizes, as well as some saucepans. So you could buy the sets or you could buy them individually, uh, but really a large variety of stuff. They had a lot of different things for pantry storage. So they had this 10 piece flip lock food storage set for $60. I may go back and get that at some point when I'm ready to redo my pantry. They also had the meal prep containers, those are great. I'm into meal prep, so those definitely come in handy. As you can see, they have lots of different like storage containers, things for fruit. They had this six piece dry food storage set, which I thought was really nice. They had some glass food storage sets, some different jars and canisters. I loved this. This was $18 for this set of three canisters. Loved it. I wish I didn't have canisters because I wanted them. They also had these labels. I picked some of those up for $4 so that when I do redo my pantry, I will have those labels ready. I loved all of these jars, all of these canisters. And again, really, really reasonable prices. They also had some food storage for your lunch bags. Those were $15 for the thermoses. They also had some of these bento boxes. I, again, was tempted to get this, and I fought the urge. These were only $8. I thought they were, had, were a really good size. And then they also had some more of, like, the fridge and pantry storage containers. And those were $10 to $15. These cutlery sets were $20 for the sets. They came in a variety of, uh, you know, colors and tones. And they also had these four-piece sets. So, like, four forks, four knives, four spoons. They were only $6, which is pretty decent. And they had this six piece wine glass set. This was on sale for $10. So that's a great price for six wine glasses. A lot of the other sets were $15 to $18 for the six glasses, depending on the size. These reminded me of my mom's old china from the 70s. I thought that was kind of cool. Like everything that was old is coming back. Like that 70s, early 80s kind of look. They had this 24 piece dinner set. I was again tempted to get this. That was only $65. I loved the white. Like I'm so tempted to throw out all my dishes because there's some of them are mismatched and just get white. Now, if you didn't want the 24 piece set, they also had these 12 piece sets. So you saw the white one there. They also came in this nice blue color. These were only $20, which is a really great price for dishes if you're not looking for a great big huge set. And then they also had this kind of blush pink that I thought was pretty and this sage green. But as you can see, there was only one left in the sage green. So this is obviously a very popular color. I think that would be my second choice. They also had a lot of different wooden serving trays. And these went anywhere from like 15 to $25, depending on the size and shape of the tray. So great stuff for charcuterie boards. They had some wooden salad bowls. And I loved this, this two-tier charcuterie board. How amazing is that? How nice would that look on your island serving your like cheese and crackers and fruit? Loved it. So tempted to get it. They also had this Lazy Susan. And these things felt like they were really great quality, like really heavy duty, good quality, gonna last kind of stuff. That's why I love wood stuff so much just because it it just lasts they also had that that was really pretty it looked almost like a piece of granite that was really cool um so really charcuterie boards serve we serving wear great prices variety of sizes shapes they had this this bamboo garment rack with white shelves so cool i thought this would be really neat like in a bedroom if you're just looking for some more stylish storage you need a little bit more I think that would actually look really nice they had this over the door basket organizer oh this would be so great for like a kid's room or a toy room something like that just adding storage everywhere that you possibly can and they also had these shoe racks which always come in handy 
Okay, so that was our trip into Zellers. I hope you enjoyed that. So what did I think about it? Overall, I really liked the experience. I loved the Ankle brand. So the Ankle brand was, it's their kind of store brand now. And you could see it throughout the clothing, throughout the houseware stuff. Um, also those wooden toys, the kids' wooden toys. I absolutely loved those. I think those were probably one of my favorite things were those little wooden toys. I wanted to buy them all for my nephew uh, or my nephews. They were amazing. So I really like the Anko brand. I think the pricing is really good. Uh, I think it had enough of a, of a variety of stuff. I liked the houseware stuff. I thought that was really neat. It was kind of reminding me of maybe like some sort of a hybrid between Ikea and Five Below, if that makes sense, I, like with the houseware stuff. It was hard to find prices on some things, which was a little bit frustrating. And I actually heard other women complaining about that in the store. So they definitely, definitely need to work on that in terms of making the prices a little bit more visible. You kind of had to, you saw something and you had to walk around until you found it on a display where it actually showed the price. So I think they need to work on that. But overall, I do think the Anko products are the strongest part about Zellers and the prices were really really quite good in terms of the clothing I think you could do really well for kids with the clothing they had a wide variety of stuff for kids and it was a decent price the ankle brand again was great but I think that the the adult clothing it was very basic so it just had your basics your basic tees your basic hoodies or sweatshirts sweatpants shorts uh, basic sweaters that kind of stuff which makes sense because it is inside of the bay and the bay has an extensive, you know, collection of, of clothing, uh, some of it designer clothing. So they don't really need that inside of the bay. But if you're looking for basic things that are at a discounted price, then I think you'll, you'll do well there. And like I said, overall, I think my favorite thing were the kids toys, those wooden toys. I really think that was my favorite stuff. Some things I didn't like, Again, the prices, I, I need the prices to be more visible. I don't wanna to have to hunt around for the prices. And there were no carts. So when you go to Zellers, you were used to a cart. Um, if things are gonna be like bargain prices, discount prices, then assume that people are gonna pick up more than one item. They did have like some little baskets you could put on your arm. But I do think there needs to be a cart now in the bay. Like if you're gonna have Zellers and people are gonna be shopping for, you know, a, a set of dishes and then maybe grab a couple of baskets and a wooden toy set, and maybe a sweater, then we need a cart. We can't carry everything in our hands. So I would say Hudson's Bay, work on that. Uh, they did have a lot of people working in the section, which was great. So they had a lot of people helping you, but like, maybe have some big bags or something that they could be handing out. Something that would just make it a little bit easier to shop in the store. But overall, I liked it. I liked the Anko basic clothing. That wasn't the best part of the store. Housewares, nice. Kitchen stuff, bathroom stuff, nice. Good prices. So do I recommend it? Yes, I do recommend it. Obviously they will iron out some kinks in terms of maybe listening to people about needing a shopping cart. Uh, and then I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be great. And I think it'll be popular and I think, I think people are gonna like it. I know a lot of people wanna see the Zeller's Diner come back. I do think that that would do well. I, I almost think that Hudson's Bay is big. They could almost put like a small diner in there and I think it would take off. Every time we went to Zeller's as kids or even when my son was young, we ate at the Zeller's Diner. And it was literally just a diner. It looked kind of like a 50s diner. It had diner style food. Um, but it was pretty good prices and it was decent food. I know that they did have a food truck when it first opened that was selling some of the classic diner stuff, but a food truck, it's still, it's still spring kind of, not still spring, it's now spring, but it's in Canada spring at the beginning of spring is still kind of winterish. Like right now it's like 12 degrees, which, and it feels hot in my car, but some days it's freezing. So people don't want to eat outside at a food truck and I don't want to really eat inside my car. So I don't know. I think that if Zellers takes off, they, they should consider putting like maybe even a small um, diner inside the Hudson's Bay. And I think it's going to get pe more people inside 
of the Hudson's Bay, which I think was the goal of, of this whole project. So with that being said, I, I hope you liked my video. I hope you enjoyed our little trip around Zellers. I hope it inspired you to want to check it out yourself. And even if you're one of my US viewers, come up here. Like if you're close to the border, come up here, check this out. You, I mean, with the difference in the dollar, you're going to save yourself huge money. Come to Canada and shop. Uh, so again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please click like and subscribe as that really helps out my channel. And I will see you on a new day.